Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 140th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. And to start off, let's talk about Apple's next generation iPhone. So in a recent report, BGR publicized a set of high resolution images of what are allegedly components intended for Apple's rumored iPhone 5S. Now, although a number of similar parts have been leaked by various repair firms over the past few months, the recent group of photos is unquestionably the highest quality we've seen to date. But unfortunately, in spite of the HD nature of these images, they reveal little about Apple's next generation iPhone simply because they're minor parts. Now, the first claimed iPhone 5S part leaks began in January when photos were publicized of what was said to be the speaker enclosure for Apple's next iPhone model. And since the initial leak, other images of the alleged home button, volume and mute button flex cables, nano SIM card tray, and the front camera flex cable have surfaced. Furthermore, although previous leaked SIM trays appear nearly identical to the ones highlighted in BGR's new set of high definition images, the report claims that the new SIM card trays are slightly thinner. Now, in spite of the absence of any apparent significant changes and modifications, BGR believes that these new components suggest the 7th generation iPhone will have a significantly different internal component structure than its predecessor. Now, of course, just be sure to stay tuned for complete coverage on iOS 7 and the iPhone 5S as we approach WWDC next month and the fall, which is when Apple is expected to unveil the next iPhone. Now, although I'm sure the majority of you are familiar with the current jailbreak situation, I still receive a countless number of questions related to jailbreaking. So I'm not really going to go too into depth, but I'm going to break it down really quick. So essentially the only untethered jailbreak for all devices on iOS 6 is Evasion, which only supports up to iOS 6.1.2. So that includes 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, 6.1, 6.1.1, and 6.1.2. So if you have any iOS device on any of those firmers, you can't successfully jailbreak using Evasion. However, if you're on 6.1.3 or even on 6.1.4 for the iPhone 5, you will not be able to jailbreak unless you have an iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, or a fourth generation iPod Touch. Now I'm going to have a link to one of my videos and an article on Evasion jailbreak down below. Those two resources together will provide you guys with in-depth information on the current jailbreak status. Just be sure to remember though that both the Evaders and POSIX Ninja have confirmed that they will indeed develop future untethered jailbreak utilities. They're just going to wait until the days of iOS 7 to ensure maximum compatibility. All right, and speaking of jailbreaking, recently Jay Freeman, better known online by his handle Sarek, released Cydia Substrate and Winterboard for Android devices. Now, I'm sure some of you already know Sarek is the genius behind Cydia, which is the third party tweak and modification distribution platform for jailbroken iDevices that predates even Apple's own App Store. Now, in addition to Cydia Substrate for Android devices, an extremely popular custom iOS theming platform has also been brought to Android. Winterboard now offers Android users even further customization options. As of now, both Cydia Substrate and Winterboard are available for download through the Google Play Store. Now, although it'll be obvious to most, it's worth mentioning that both of these applications require a rooted device to function properly. However, with the process of rooting growing increasingly easier, chances are good that most users who wish to install Cydia Substrate and Winterboard are already rooted. Now, while Winterboard for the time being is pretty basic, it's likely that the Google Play Store will soon become flooded with various themes like its iOS counterpart for theme distribution. Cydia. Which brings me to my next point. Although Cydia Substrate for Android features an undeniably bland user interface and really doesn't serve a purpose on its own, it acts as a launching platform for tweaks and modifications. Cydia Substrate will only truly shine when other apps are installed that can fully utilize it, like Winterboard, which, as of now, is the only app that functions with Substrate. Now, while it's certainly safe to say that in spite of the fact Cydia Substrate for Android is in its infancy, we'll see the number of tweaks and third-party modifications for Android skyrocket in the coming weeks and months. 
All right, and finally, earlier this week, Apple revealed that the company's App Store has officially surpassed another incredible milestone. Since the App Store's inception in 2008, the iOS exclusive app distribution platform has now served 50 billion unique downloads, excluding re-downloads and updates. Now, just about two weeks ago, Apple announced that when they reached 50 billion downloads, the company would give the individual who downloaded the 50 billionth app a $10,000 iTunes gift card. And of course, they're still doing that. They've already Already announced the winner. Interestingly, while the App Store amassed roughly 15 billion total downloads in 2012, it took nearly three years and eight months for the App Store to pass the first 25 billion apps downloaded, with the second half of the now 50 billion downloads taking place in the last 14 months alone. So at this current download rate of 50 million applications per day, Apple's App Store will easily surpass last year's record high number of downloads, especially considering they've seen 10 billion downloads in just the past four months. Also, before I conclude this episode, I just wanted to say to make sure you check down below in the more info. I'm going to have some links to a couple of my recent videos that I think some of you might find very interesting if you haven't already seen that. All right, and don't forget, I'm going to be concluding my $100 Amazon gift card giveaway soon. So if you want a chance to enter, just be sure to rate this video up and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. And be sure to leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. If you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. So now that Cydia Substrate is available for Android, definitely not all of the same tweaks that you can find on Cydia on iOS devices though. Would you guys ever consider switching from an iOS device or from an iPhone to an Android phone? Just be sure to let me know down below in the comment section or on best tech info. And to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.